everyone, it's Allie from The Gypsy Teacher. Hope you guys are having an awesome week. Um, just coming by to say hi for coffee date today. Um, excited to be back with you guys vlogging again. Sorry it took me a couple weeks. Busy, busy. Um, we've been having lots of rain the past couple days, which has been making my allergies act up. So I'm sorry if I sound stuffed up. I, um, last night or the night before, I, when I went to bed, I just, like, all through the night, I was up, scratching, scratchy throat, stuffy nose, headache, ugh, so not fun. So, I'm getting some Claritin today to help curb that allergy re reaction. Um, also, I'm so excited. Um, the iPhone update is awesome. Um, the iOS 7 software update for your iPhone, if you haven't gotten it yet, definitely do. I've heard mixed reviews from some people, but I seriously love it as a little techie geek. I was happily surprised. Um, and I love when, okay, so a couple things I love. The lock screen now where you type in your password is so much more fun. There's circles, and it's just the background of your, um, of your, uh, home or your lock screen so it's pink for me instead of just the normal black so that was pretty cool and when you shut down pages it you push the home button twice again but then you get to like swipe up pages to make them go away I think I'm still getting used to it and I also love the notes I thought the notes that the iPhone originally came out with were so old school in a bad way. I just was like, ew, this is, these are not working for me. I just didn't like the layout of them, so I hardly ever used them. But now it's just nice and clean like before, or like like everything else is, so I'm really happy about that. Um, what, did, what are your favorite things about the new software update? I'd love to hear from you about what your favorite part is. Um, also, I now have a Chevron background, and I'm loving it. I got rid of all my Kapoka apps, the ones that make your apps look really cute because it was just and it ended up just taking up more space on my phone which i definitely don't need and um now with this cleaner look it just doesn't look quite so great um so i just switched back to my normal ones which i'm happy with now for now at least <laughs> um so but to get my update i it kind of was a little bit of a process for me because Wednesday night, I was just about to go to bed. I was like, oh, I should do my software update. Not even thinking straight. Um, but then I realized I had to take off a ton of stuff off my iPhone, or I could just download iTunes. Well, or get it on iTunes. Well, I had yet to download iTunes on my computer. So I first had to do that. Then it made me update iTunes again. Um, plus, when I synced my iPhone to my to the iTunes on my computer, along with the iCloud music that I had downloaded previously. It's not as many songs, it's not all the songs I had on my last laptop, which makes me annoyed. I wish they would just have some way where you could transfer your whole library from one laptop or one computer to another. It just doesn't make sense the way it is right now, but that's just my personal opinion. <laughs> um, but yeah, so then I had to do both those things, and then I could download the um, software update, but then I wasn't even thinking because while it was downloading, it had to reconfigure something, and so my alarm didn't go off in the morning, so I woke up late yesterday morning, which ended up being fine. I woke up with like a half an hour before I had to leave, so I was getting ready, but during when I was getting ready, I started to see, see and hear rain pour down. I was like, no. I really don't want to have to walk to the bus stop in the rain. Well, then I ended up not leaving my house till 8, which is bad because that's like 10 minutes between getting to the bus stop and making sure, and that's making sure the bus stop or the bus is on time because usually the bus is either early or late. So when it's early, it's not a good thing. And that's the last one that comes by my house. Um, so I was not, I was like, oh my gosh, frantically running to the bus stop. Um, and my house is right across from a school, so I can't just like, oh, you know, walk across the street. Like, I have to go up to the crosswalk. It's just a whole big mess. But, God 
was so good because not only did he get me to the bus stop in perfect timing, he made it so the, the rain had stopped by the time I left. If I had left at my scheduled time, the rain would still be happening, but he made me leave a little bit later. I had to do a couple more things, so I left right when the rain stopped. I got to my bus right when I needed to, so um, I was just so excited that God had helped me out with that, that um, yesterday morning. Also, um, I'm excited for the weekend. I'm working a lot. We're having some Bath and Body Works fun on Saturday, uh, having a little county fair event there. And tonight, I am going to a worship and prayer service at my church, uh, hosted by the young adults, and we're having a little ice cream social afterwards, so I'm looking forward to that a lot. Um, my The young adults program at my church has kind of been um, not happening the past like year and a half. We had a really great one uh, that we would meet once a week and do have a service, and then we ended up stopping it. Um, but now I think we're going to start getting back into um, having a program, which is so needed for our age group. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that as well. What's going on for your weekend? I'd love to hear about it. Um, also, anything else you'd love to tell me? Any questions you want me to answer in the next vlog? Leave a comment below. Email me, tweet me, Instagram, Facebook, whatever you want to do. Um, I'd love to hear from you. All right, have a great weekend, guys. Thanks for stopping by.